Hollis is a tabletop holographic display that enhances your life and invites connection. You can play games with family, connect across generations, make education an engaging experience. When Lexus approached with that questions for a new project, we thought it will not work, but let's try it. But we did it step by step. We thought it would be really interesting. And we thought maybe they need a track of 10 meters and this can all be done and it would be quite easy. When I then heard about these plans for jumping and other things, I said, okay, that's a tough job. This track has three poles, a North Pole, a South Pole, and then a North Pole. And in between, there's a magnetic field, which is on top of the track. Now, how to see this with your eyes? You cannot see anything, of course, but you can sense it with the magnetic material. As soon as you come closer, you feel the force of the magnetic field. 25 years ago, the high temperature superconductors were detected. The superconductors inside of the board are made of yttrium barium copper oxide. And if you bring the superconducting material at a distance above this track and cool it down with liquid nitrogen, gets its superconducting properties, then this stores this magnetic field and is able to levitate above this track segment as long as it is cooled. A very stable levitation is possible, which is passive. You do not need any energy for this. One can freeze in a magnetic field in the superconductor. There was a question, could you imagine having inclines? We answered yes and tried to build one. And then came the declines, then came the bended curves in a very small radius. And so things developed. It's a real, real amazing, fascinating project. We hope to inspire people. This project may show them nothing is impossible. I'm really excited about uh, HoloLens as a completely new way to do interfaces. It looks out of the world experience. I'm excited to just get a sense for how well it feels intuitively to interact with what's actually around me. This is next level. The bridge between the technical and the non-technical folks, HoloLens can bridge that. I'm also excited about the idea of being able to take data sets in the, in the scientific world and be able to interact with them in a way three-dimensionally that there's just so few ways you can really do right now. I have so many ideas for this thing. I, I'm dying to get my hands on one and actually use it. I'm sure it will be all over the place in five years. We love to dream. And we wished our dreams were real. Reality is different. wish to take that important call while driving without disturbing your conversation with your sweetheart. Your music is your world. Enjoy your favorite tracks from your playlist, Spotify, Pandora, and also from online radio. We want you to stay safe on road. Imagine your messages are read to you without disturbing you. Enjoy the hands-free environment and call your loved ones without even using your phone. VoIP calling facility is inbuilt into Exploride. Make most of it using the exclusive Exploride mobile application. Building relationships without any boundaries. Never get lost on road. Take the right road to reach on time, every time. Now your driving experience is not just complete without knowing about your ride. The onboard diagnostic gives you crisp and sharp information about your speed, tire pressure, fuel, and other important statistics. A feature rolling list of various apps available. 
Make use of a plethora of apps just crafted for your journeys. When you hit those long drives, Exploride reads what's around. Our superior augmented reality powered application gives you the perfect vision everywhere you go. The hand is the ultimate input device. It's extremely precise, it's extremely fast, and it's very natural for us to use it, right? Capturing the possibilities of human hand was one of my passions. How can we take this incredible capability, finesse of human actions, or finesse of, of using our hand, but apply it to the virtual world? We use radio frequency spectrum, which is radars, to track human hand. The radar has been used for many different things, to track cars, big objects, satellites and planes. We're using them to track micro motions, twitches of human hands, and then use that to interact with wearables and Internet of Things and other computing devices. Our team is focused on taking radar hardware and turning it into a gesture sensor. Radar is a technology which transmits a radio wave towards a target and then the receiver of the radar intercepts the reflected energy from that target. The reason why we're able to interpret so much from this one radar signal is because of the full gesture recognition pipeline that we've built. The various stages of this pipeline are designed to extract specific gesture information from this one radar signal that we receive at a high frame rate. Now we're at a point where we have the hardware where we can sense these interactions and we can put them to work. We can explore how well they work and how well they might work in products.